hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you enjoyed the previous lesson where we look at the psalm and the psalm if function with this episode we're going to look at the count the count all that is the count a the count if and the count ifs function let's move straight forward to the syntax as i've always been presenting to you now the general syntax for all functions is equal to the function name and the parameters which is in the parentheses or in a bracket so for this lesson or this episode we are going to look at these four main functions the count function the count a or the count of function the count e function and the count is function but guys there's a limitation to the count let's see the difference you will see, you'll see the difference between the count and the count or, or count a function the count function is usually used to count all numeric values in a cell okay so you can count the cells if they are numerics or if they are numbers but the count a can be used for both numbers and text so you can use the count function here the first one to count for cells that contains text or strings now we use the count if to count on focus on a particular text or numeric value and as well as the count ifs is when we are counting more than we are, you are checking for more than a range or we are checking more than an item okay so you see how it goes about now I have definitions to the range and the criteria the range of cells that you want to apply the count function on based on the selection criteria so when you talk about the range the range that are specified here and as well as the criteria the criteria is used to determine which cells you want to count so guys let's move straight forward to our demo area whereby we, we have to navigate to our spreadsheet file which in this case we are using the sl microsoft sl so this is the sl file we are going to use I downloaded this file from Kanjo. Kanjo, like I said in my previous lesson, is an open data platform where you can download this. Once you go to Kanjo, search for insurance and you see a similar template of this sort. But I included the color formats and column A, column I to column L. I have included these columns. But the rest, the content, everything is coming from Kanjo, the data set that I downloaded. Now, guys, let's examine this data set. This data set has the age column, the sex column, the BMI column, children column, number of children column, whether there's uh, someone is uh, smoker status, whether someone smokes or not, the region, and as well as the charges. To apply the count function, the count all function, the count if function, the count if function, and the count if function, let's perform simple data analysis on this data set. The first one we are going to check out for, we want to know the total number of records that, that is on this particular sheet. To do that, we will use the count function. Okay, we we'll use the count function. Like we said, all functions start from start with the equal sign okay so we can check the total number of records that is on this data set using any of the columns so you start with the equal sign then the function name you open parentheses then you specify you can specify the exact cells you want to count but since i'm going to use the age column as a counting factor now since i'm not going to specify for instance a cell let's say starting from cell a2 downwards i can simply select the column okay and it's going to perform the count for me so this time round, i just selected the column so you are not seeing for instance you want you have to see cell a2 then the range the range as cell a2 let's say to the last item on that column which let's scroll down which is so 1339 but once you select the column base it will come in this one every cell within the column will be selected 
I'm going to close the parenthesis. Press enter. So we have 1,338. Is that correct? Let's check. So the last item, like we scroll down, was 1,339. So it's actually, it's actually correct because we start, it started counting from the, the second one. The first one is a text. It didn't count for it. So this figure is actually correct. Let's go over the syntax again. We have equal to the the function name you specify. I want to count everything in this column. I'm using the age column. You can use the sex column. You can use any since it's part of it just shows the record of individual individual records that are in the data set. So let me still repeat this. I want to use the entire column. So I'll just click on the column. It is specified for me here. I close the parenthesis. Press enter. That is it. Now let's apply the same count if we were to count with sex since the sex is a text base. So equal to count. Let me select the column. Now we have zero. Why? But we apply the same formula here, but we had a result. This is where we apply the count A or count all, where it's capable of counting both a text and a number or a numeric value okay so guys let's modify this formula we come to the formula bar just include the a and let's see whether we have a resource so guys we have a resource now there is difference between the count in cell l6 and cell l7 what is the difference the difference is cell l6 is recording 1338 whilst cell l7 is recording 1339 now note that we said with the count function, you, it can count the text, but with the count a function, it's capable of counting everything. So in this case, it's counting the header sex as part of the thing that we are checking. Okay, so that is the difference. So guys, it's the formula is working a great for us. Okay, because once you scroll down, it starts from a one and it ends at 1,339. So we have it here. So guys, the formula is working for us. So that is the difference between the two formulas, okay? Now let's move on to the count if function. Now we want to find the total number of females, okay? We want to check out for within this, the number of females records or the number of the total number of females who, who were recorded, okay? So that is why we are going to use the count if, okay? So we have a mixture. Of both males and females now the focus the count is just on females so guys we are going to use the count if function like we said the syntax is equal to the count the function in which is count if and in the parameter list we have all we have the range and the criteria the range will be the column the criteria will be we are searching for what female get it so I can as well capture the criteria somewhere. I'll show you in both instances where everybody can capture the criteria and wherever you can uh, capture the, the, the criteria also from the same column and it will work perfectly for you. So equal to count if, let me select the entire column as the range. That's the range, the criteria you want to search out for. Let me still, I can still use the same cell within the column and now I've selected as my criteria. So let me select female, press enter. So this is the total, guys. This is the total number of females that, that were recorded, okay? That were recorded. The same way you can capture the female somewhere. So let me, let's assume I've captured female as a criteria in cell I2 female female so let me count same way same formula equal to count if count if the range so let me specify this as the range then i'll pick this and guys it's working for me okay so it's working for me when i have the criteria being cited somewhere it's still working for me guys now let's move on to the same, let's do same for males, number of males in there. So the same formula equal to count if ranges, column B, then we want to check out for male in there, 
close it we have the total okay we have the total number of um, meals that were recorded now the next is we want to check out for meals who were recorded as smokers so smokers is on column e so in e to know that someone is a smoker or not there's a yes or a no so if someone is a smoker probably that is a yes to it so that's where we are going to our guys we are going to apply the count if like we did here for the count for the count if the, the range and criteria so we are going to do the count if said that you have a range criteria if you are checking for two items so you repeat two times if it's three times you repeat three times just that you measure you ensure you've captured the right range and right criteria and it's going to you are going to get an answer so guys let's move on equal to count if count ifs okay we are checking for meals we are checking for meals we are checking for we are checking for um females okay so the first one is females and female you see i just pick it up now we move on to the next range the next range you are going to check for is on whether the person is a smoker or not a female who is a smoker so i'll select this column as the next range that's the range comma the next criteria the next criteria is if that is an yes so the yes are, we can choose yes from any uh, any cell within the column let me close it so guys this is the total number of females who the total number of females who are smokers okay who are smokers let's do same so we are repeating the same steps for total number of males who are as well smokers so equal to the function name which is count ifs then the criteria we are checking for males males is in column b that is the sex select it the entire column if guys let me do this if you don't want to check for the entire column you can make reference to the cell so the first the first item here the, or the first value here or the first cell that recalls the gender where the sex whether it's a male or a female is b2 you can also do it this way b then to the last item which is b1 the one three three nine that is the first last item so this is the range i'll specify using the range then the criteria the first criteria you want to check for a male second one we want to check for a male who is a smoker so male who is a smoker smoker is in column e that the first one is e2 then the last one is e1 three three nine so let's check the last one is one three three nine so guys and we want to check for yes as a smoker yes so guys this is the total number of meals as well who are smokers or who were recorded as smokers thank you and i i hope you enjoy it in this lesson, we looked at how to use the count function, the count all function, or the count a function, the count if function, and the count if function. Drop your comments and be available to assist you. Watch out for more episodes where we will take you through how you can really make use of Microsoft Excel so that we can be more efficient. Stay in tune. Thank you and keep on subscribing to this channel.